Today we look at brand awareness campaigns and how to actually launch these campaigns effectively. Because I'll let you in on a little secret. They're not right for every single advertising scenario. So you're gonna wanna watch this video in order to save some money. And while you're at it, go ahead and go down to the bottom of this video and smash like so I don't have to come back here in about six and a half minutes to pause everything and remind you. Hey, Taime, if we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. Okay, so first let's start off by understanding what Facebook is telling us that this type of campaign even is, what the brand awareness objective even does for us. So let's read. The brand awareness objective is for advertisers who want to show ads to people who are more likely to recall them. So people that are more likely to remember your brand whenever they show it to them later on. So as we can see, the brand awareness objective gives you the estimated ad recall lift, which is basically people in a metric, which shows how many people we estimate would remember your ad if we asked them within two days. So check that out. There, When it comes to the brand awareness objective or this type of campaign, it's gonna give you a column in your reports that says the ad recall lift. So it's an estimate of how many people would actually remember your ad or your brand whenever they ask them in two, in two days. So if they were to ask them in two days. So let's continue reading. A brand lift study is required for the most accurate measurement of ad recall. However, if your campaign doesn't meet the criteria to meet a full study, so Facebook would go out there and do a full study, the estimated ad recall lift, which what we just discussed up here, metric would be an accessible alternative. So what this is saying is they would actually go and do that study. They would actually go and ask those two people. I'm sorry, they would go ask in within the two days. Now here's something that's very important. However, if your campaign doesn't meet the, uh, the criteria to conduct a full study, what that's basically saying is if you don't pay enough money, <laughs> it's not going to it's not going to be enough. So just be comfortable with the estimated ad recall lift. That's basically what it's saying. It's not going to there's um they're not going to put too many other criteria or factors in play when it comes to that. So the brand awareness objective is designed to get your name out there and it's designed to get as many people as possible to remember your brand, your campaign, your ad. So let's talk about the ad for a second. Actually, let's go over and get to the ad campaign first, and I'll show you how to actually get to there using the new interface. So as you know, Facebook loves to tinker with the interface, and I know we all love that. We absolutely love having to re, um, re uh, work how we, um, how we find the, the campaign. So just to give you an idea of how to go to the ads manager, which is where we need to be, you can log into the new interface, and go over here and then click add, which is going to take you there. It's going to open it up right there. Or you can come back here and then go to the ads. So you're going to see some ads right here. And it's going to take you to the same spot as well. Either one is going to take you. So what, whichever one you feel more comfortable with, it's um that's the right answer. So as you can see, the um, both of these, one opened up another tab. The other one stayed on the same tab and automatically sent us there. But at the end of the day, we are where we need to be. So that is perfectly fine. Now, what's this video about? We were talking about the brand awareness campaign and that's right here. So the brand awareness campaign is one of the 11 campaign objectives that you can run. So as you can see here, it's on the awareness stage. We've run reach campaigns in the past. We've run traffic campaigns in the past, lead generation, messages, conversions, basically every type of campaign. Um, but the brand awareness one was the one that had eluded us because frankly, I don't use it all that much, but I do see a lot of value in you actually learning how to do that. And here's when it comes and here's where we have the conversation about the type of ad you want to run with the brand awareness campaign. With the brand awareness cam campaign, you want to run an ad that will be that will tie you to your brand. So whatever ad that you run, you want to have people remember you. So if that means you want to run a video, that means if you want to run an image, that means if you want to run a saying, a something that really ties you to your brand or what your brand actually is, this is the perfect opportunity for you to run this type of campaign. Because again, it's designed to have people remember you. So it doesn't make sense for you to run 
a campaign that is pretty generic and doesn't necessarily tie you to your brand. If you are starting out marketing in a brand new region, let's just say you move cross country, you move from California to Florida, California to Texas, and have to start over in a completely new market, then boom, this is the one that you want to launch. So having a video about your business, having a an image that really speaks to whether that's your family, whether that's your um, your team, your real estate team, what have you, or any type of business that you're in, this is where you want to run that type of campaign. Because remember, they they need to remember you. They need to remember your brand, and that's what this is designed to do. So, in summary, make that ad memorable. Make that ad memorable and tie your brand to it. So make it make it memorable and tie your brand to it. But also. With your brand awareness campaign, another big benefit to that, so the second benefit to that, is that you can launch this ad as what I call an anchor ad. So what does that mean? An anchor ad means it's an ad that you launch from the outset, so you launch that first, and then you have a retargeting ad right back here trailing it. So this retargeting ad is designed to close business for you. So you launch a campaign that has to do with your brand, or that has to do with real estate, or that has to do with X, Y, and Z, whatever product or service that you're that you're selling, you're gonna have that as an anchor ad being run as an awareness slash brand awareness campaign. That's gonna be your anchor ad, and it's gonna go out there and get people to flock to it. That everyone's going to like, share, comment, all that fun stuff. It's gonna go out there and start breaking the ice, basically. So if you can imagine that um, big oil tankers that are going through the Atlantic. Atlantic, <laughs> Antarctic, or wherever they're going where there's a lot of ice, you're going to have somebody just breaking through, breaking through that ice. And that's what this ad is designed to do. So there's a lot of people that are going to flock to that um, to that ad. And then with your retargeting ad, it doesn't have to be a brand awareness ad. It can be a traffic ad, a lead generation ad, a messages ad, a conversion ad. It's right back here designed to close the business of people that engaged with it. So again, make that ad memorable. Hey, one quick second, I'll let you get right back to the video. I just wanted to remind you that the like button is still down there at the bottom of this video. I didn't want you to forget, and with all due respect, I did give you a fair warning at the intro of this video. And while you're at it, go ahead and go down to the bottom of this video and smash like so I don't have to come back here in about six and a half minutes to pause everything and remind you. And then also, understand its role is its role is to give you um in its its role is an anchor ad to where it's going to call a lot of people to the campaign and then ultimately you're going to retarget them with a retargeting ad i know it's a little bit um confusing because i didn't necessarily prepare a powerpoint presentation but i think you understand what what i'm driving at so let's continue we're going to go to brand awareness and i'll move myself real quick we're going to go to continue and you can see that a lot of the elements that we're used to running are basically still here. So it's not going to matter. So we're going to keep um, the name, not necessarily concerned about the name right now. I'm more interested in you seeing how this actually works. So we're going to run and add in the special ad category. And we're going to go with housing. As a lot of the viewers, a lot of you are in the housing space, so real estate space. So we're going to run that type of ad. Now, A-B split testing, this is a great... Uh, opportunity for you to actually start split testing which audience is going to give you the the least expensive traffic so it's a great time for you to actually do that but we're not going to do that because i just don't want to <laughs> all right here we go so now that we've gone through the campaign we are at the ad set level so as a reminder the navigation over here is the campaign level the ad set level and the ad so the campaign level that's where you select the type of campaign that you want to launch one of the 11 campaign objectives. Here at the ad set level, you're selecting who you're actually wanting to show the ad to, so your target audience. And then here, you're actually creating the ad and showing what you want the front facing public to see. So what you want this target audience to see, that's how you navigate it. So you can navigate from the left side or you can navigate from up here. Either one is going to work. All right, so we're not going to worry about the naming convention again. That's um, as long as you remember and recall what type of campaign you're launching, who you're targeting, and the type of ad that you are running, you're going to be okay. So I'm not going to be a big stickler about that with you. Dynamic creative, we're not going to worry about that. All right, budget and, and schedule. So when it comes to brand awareness campaigns, you do want to give it a good amount of budget. You want to give it 
a good amount of run rate because you want some more accurate information. So remember what Facebook told us about that study. So we want to give it a good amount of money so we can get some realistic numbers, realistic um, metrics when it comes to the brand awareness. Yes, they're going to give us the ad lift, the ad recall lift number, but we would love to have a more realistic number if we can. So be generous with the campaign. But at the same time, don't break the bank. Understand what this. Understand what the what the what the purpose of this campaign is. And we already we already discussed it. But as a reminder, it's designed to help your your brand be recognized again. So make sure that you have it. The type of ad that you create, make sure that is tied to your brand, but also is designed to go out there and draw as much attention to your brand as possible in the form of an anchor ad, which is going to get people flocking to it. All right, so we're just gonna say $25 for the purpose of our ad right now. Not gonna worry about the start date, it's just gonna start whenever we are ready to go. So as soon as we press publish. All right, so we're not gonna do any saved audiences. We're not gonna do any custom audiences or anything like that. We're just gonna go straight to a cold audience. All right, so we're gonna do boom, 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 people living in this location and we're gonna go, where are we gonna go to Santa Fe? Used to uh, go to Santa Fe a lot, not anymore, but all right, so there we go, 74,000 folks. We're gonna scroll down. Since we're in the special ad category, we're not gonna do anything with this because we cannot. And then detail targeting, we're actually not gonna worry about detail targeting right now. We're gonna let Facebook algorithmically show us to people that believe will remember our brand. So remember, we are establishing our brand all over again. We moved cross country from from X place to, in this case, Santa Fe. Um, and we wanna start marketing. So I'm gonna move everything else right now. Right now, I'm just going to leave it with the news feed. So here's the thing. I don't want to get too into the weeds in this particular video because I'm more interested in you seeing how to actually launch this campaign. But what we're doing right now is we're marketing on the news feed at the moment. So remember this, since we um we do want to give it a good amount of a budget, but we certainly don't want to break the bank. 62,000 people in the grand scheme of things is not all that much. So this is actually going to be an appropriate budget. But whenever we're launching a campaign to a cold audience, especially an audience that's larger, that's not the case here, but if it was a larger audience, we would run a campaign and only select the Facebook news feed. Now, when we're coming, and especially since it's the anchor ad, remember, it's that, that anchor ad, that the one that's designed to break through the ice first, because it's a cold audience, pun intended. Um, so as it's breaking through the ice, this retargeting ad over here is, gonna des is designed to cast those people that engage with your ad to begin with. So this retargeting ad, with this retargeting ad, that's when you open up the placements. That's when you include everything and you go to the automatic placements because this ad right here is doing the heavy lifting. It's out there getting people that are more likely to remember your brand in this case, since it's a brand awareness campaign. And then this ad over here is designed to close the deal for you. So if you're making an offer in this type of campaign, if you were um, uh, whatever you're doing, you're, you're in the product business or in a sales uh, service business or just having a, um, a brand awareness campaign, which is what we're talking about right now. Doesn't matter. This retargeting ad right here, this is the one that you're saving to close the deal with everybody that engaged with your previous campaign. All right. So we're going to continue going. So as you can see, it's starting to look very similar to every type of campaign that you've launched in the past, especially the traffic campaign. So we're going to continue scrolling down. We're, we don't need to worry about the Instagram placement because we're not running an ad there. And then you have the option of a single image or a video. So make it memorable. Remember, this is a brand awareness campaign. You want whatever campaign you're, I'm sorry, you want whatever ad that you're running, you want it to be tied to your brand. You want to be remembered. Don't just do a generic uh, generic ad that's not going to um, have people remember, oh, that's Jaime, oh, that's his team, oh, that's X, Y, and Z, or hey, that's that brand, or hey, there's that product. So make sure that it is branded to you because, again, that's what the name pretty much suggests that you want to have people remember your brand. So make sure that your ad actually reconciles that with that goal. So I'm not going to worry about selecting an image or anything like that or a video. 
And then the primary text, again, just regardless of what you're doing, you would just put whatever offer that you're making, or if you're just going out there with the sole purpose of having a brand awareness, that is completely fine. But if you were, let's just say, doing a soft offer, again, this campaign, this ad is not necessarily designed to give you a bunch of leads or a bunch of sales or a bunch of conversions. That's not the goal. This is more for awareness. But if you wanted to do a soft sell, and if you were in real estate as an example, um, you could you could direct traffic over to a landing page. Let's just say off-market properties. Uh, Download list of off-market properties today. Something like that. So just a soft sell. If you get some leads from this campaign, fantastic. But again, that's not necessarily the goal of this campaign because it's a brand awareness campaign. So you would put a different image for sure. You would probably put uh, get the list on the actual image. That's what I would put. And then probably put a really beaten down home right here so people would get the, uh, get the uh, feeling for what type of list that they can expect. And then add a website URL. So there you would select the URL that you want to send people to. You put a headline, get the list, description, find, uh, find, no, get exclusive deals, boom. And then you would put your website, whatever that is, just gonna let, let it go right there. So you would put the URL to your website or to your landing page where as a reminder, a landing page is nothing more than a place to capture somebody's contact information. So they land on your landing page. Hey, click, uh, give us your information for the list of off market properties in this example. It's that simple. So then they're going to give you their name, their email and their phone number, and they're going to press confirm and you're off and running. Make sure that the, um, make sure that the pixel is, is running as well. The call to action. Let's go to download. So there you go, download the list. You scroll down, that's all you're gonna need. Then you hit publish and you have made your brand awareness campaign. Well, now that you know how to run Facebook brand awareness campaigns, it's time to learn how to run Facebook conversion ads. So I'll leave a video right here that's gonna help you do that. Also, if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And of course, make it your best day yet.